guys welcome back welcome back you are still tuned in to fantastic fridays and you know we're here with you every single friday and all the friday them when a name friday don't ask me no questions because i don't have the answers from 5 p.m till 8 p.m all right and from here hear the sound that you know what time it is it is time for talk the thing with kim all right all right so for this week's discussion as i said every single week guys i look forward to your feedback i look forward to your comments i look forward to your perspective because just like how you guys are learning from us we are learning from you just as and much enough right? things we don't know what we don't know about and i won't get as much of the gym then when we can collect because i want to talk about the physical gem but the knowledge i believe there's power in wisdom and knowledge so the more me know and understand and can see different perspective i think it makes me a better person so help me to be a better person right all right guys so the topic for this week is parenting in the digital age when you hear that phrase what do you think of mm, parenting in the digital age so we're talking about there are different styles of parenting now that we have computers and even mm -hmm. three-year-old and two-year-old have phones. Yes, <laughs> when basically, we, <laughs> them all a bit of phone than me Exactly, when we grow up, we never have that even tablet. We just basically probably have that little pop, 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 hello, I'm <laughs> Right? That, that was it, you know? With toy phones. Exactly. Well, we so bad, we. <laughs> exactly, you know? So we weren't able to communicate with our friends when we feel like and call and all these mm -hmm. things. All these access and video, everything to apps I post on social and media. video and snap and all these things. Growing up, we never really have access to all of that. Even if probably your parents had the phones, you still would have probably have to beg them. I'm like, exactly. Now these kids have their own devices. Yeah, the mother, the mother, the internet sensations. Exactly. And, all, and then parents they don't know about it till after they become a sensation right so i love that feedback if it is that you are on the instagram live feel free to drop your comments as well yeah or you can join uh by going to fantastic 93 fm we're live right now and if it is that you want to comment ensure that you are following the page mm -hmm. and then if it is that you're listening out there in radio land if you're not drive come another turn of a message while not drive we don't do that around no. here we practice safety so if it is that you are on your way home in traffic and you have a moment you can just drop your comments um on our whatsapp number or you can text it and the number is 876-792-3530 all right so as i highlighted earlier at the beginning of the show november is parents month right and this year's theme is the power of parenting raising happy healthy and hopeful children Families, parents, and caregivers play a central role in, in child well-being and development. They offer identity, love, care, provision, and protection to children and adolescents, as well as economic security and stability. Emphasizing the critical role of parents in the upbringing of children, Parents Month was implemented to recognize that the family has the primary responsibility for the nurturing and protection of children. For the full and harmonious development of their personality, children should grow up in a family environment and in an atmosphere of happiness, love, and understanding. And to be very honest, I think that discussion, this, this conversation and discussion is very valid, especially with the video that was circulating last week. Yes. Where you had the two girls fighting and you had the uh, I guess it was, it was a boy in the middle of the fight and you know some blows were exchanged and the little boy listen, it, it's a very heartbreaking video. And while reading this, I was like, I don't think that's what that little boy knows. Of course we heard about the interview afterwards when the mother was saying, Listen, my son not not used to that, you know, my love my son, my take care of him, do a, me do right by him, you know. Yeah. And that was just a, a slip up. But it leads to question because I don't think even in the midst of a fight like that, something with a connect for certain, mm, we can't handle this. You know, or you find some way to take yourself out of the situation, you know, lift up your picnic and then take up a rock for go fleeing for continuing the fight. No, you take away yourself because if not for your own safety, at least for the safety of your child, right? So yeah. I feel like this conversation is very valid. So it reminds us as parents that we all have a role to play. And even though I said parents, because some of us out here aren't parents as yet, like myself, but we still play a role in children around us. Whether it's a niece, a nephew, a neighbor, pick me, smuddy, um, 
we go on school near you and you and them won't go to bus up a morning time we all have a part to play because yeah. we all have to take care of each other i know there were when i was younger there were some big women who look out for me if they don't see me at evening time question um what came they usually came reach home certain time and that's what we need to get back to parents and guardians we and say. guard exactly and, caretakers and, and, and caregivers you say, you say adults or senior yeah so you know as an adult you should actually have a little oversight oversight we're as not well. supposed to take up the people and pick you know and no. change and go beat yeah. them and all of that right. no but then if you see anything concerning mm. you make the parents know you know yeah. so boy mm-hmm. maybe see Kim on the road and boy the company shows around never look too safe yeah. you know so you know and you make sure you make the parents know right. but yeah. that's how we show love and concern yeah so might see it as in form of what guess what it has saved many of us growing up yeah Right. And then, as I said, sometimes you even do try to say something, probably the parent don't receive it, but at least I try. And that is it. Yeah. Try still, because mm-hmm. I know nowadays, as we said, parenting has changed, yeah. right? So the objectives of Parents Month are to, to celebrate and recognize the achievements of our parents and guardians, mm-hmm. to create opportunities for parents to further develop their parenting skills, support the strengthening of the homeschool relationship, mm-hmm. To encourage our men to be more involved in the role of parenting. To remind our youth that parenting is a serious responsibility that should be undertaken only by prepared and mature adults. To encourage parents to join the PTA so that they too can have a voice in the transformation of the education system and the running of schools. To develop an awareness in parents that they are their child's first teacher. So they should be good examples and mentors to all children, not just their children. Yeah. All children, right? Another reason um, Parents Month is celebrated is to encourage communities and all adults to protect our children, support parents in their role, and be partners in the raising of children. To promote family life and health and health education in schools as preparation of tomorrow's parents begins with the education of children today. Yep. Create networks among parents for their own support and that of their children and the schools their, their children attend. And finally, to inform parents of the material and human resources that are available to help them become effective parents. So I know most of us are like, bottom of a month for everything no i know that's what it seems like because all of these things we never heard about it growing up so it just seems like it pop up out of nowhere but they're done with good intention it's yeah. to bring awareness to say all right this is an area that we do need to focus on parenting and i know most people say boy it's something that when you have the child it come natural no <laughs> yeah most people say don't yeah, worry about it man. When, when, when the child gets here you just gotta know what to do. No. <laughs> Basically, right now, half of them out there are wing it. Wing them are wing it to them. Exactly. Them do I wouldn't even stop this winging mm-hmm. thing, right? Be prepared, you get a better outcome usually once and, you are prepared. And don't be afraid to ask questions because mm-hmm. each one teach one. I don't necessarily have to be a relative or somebody you know that well. But let's say, for example, you see another parent that pick up the child at school every day where you like how them have a conversation with them child. They have, you know, you see something you admire. Yeah. You can go to that parent and say, you know, I realize that every evening when you come pick up your daughter or your son, mm. while you're walking to the car, when a very, in, you know, you, you basically have them talking to you and telling you everything that happen, happened in the day. How did you do that? Like, mm. I can't get my child to open up. That's what you do. You ask questions. Yeah. And for the parents who are asked for the information, nobody get keep. Mm-hmm. Nobody go like, more only my picnic bright. So I don't want to tell nobody my, my tricks and my trades or what worked for me. And the reality is as well, what might work for them? Might not work may for not you. work for you. Yeah, I mean, and you don't have to even go say, boy, for a stranger per se. You know, sometimes persons in your community, persons you know, persons you, 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 you probably have a friend or yeah. know somebody who also has a child. Wrap with each other, talk and say, wait, mm. what happened? How you manage this? What you do with that? And we share questions. ideas and learn together. Exactly. Yeah. So that's one thing I encourage, right? So we've highlighted that it's Parents Month and why this month is celebrated. But now we're going to get more into the topic that we chose for today. So as we said, parenting in the digital age. Mm-hmm. So parenting as we know it has changed over the last decade or two. Definitely. Due to the introduction of the digital age. And honestly, there's no denying it. As Lana said, definitely, right? 
Parenting in the digital age can be extremely tough no matter the age of your child. Technology is progressively becoming part of our everyday lives and many children today are brought up in an environment surrounded by digital devices such as smartphones, tablets, anything you can think of, right? Everybody have a screen near them. Keeping up to speed with the latest technologies is crucial if you want to be a successful parent. So that's, that's one of the first things that we have to do. If we understand that it's not something you can fight. So if you are that parent out there, we're going to say, boy, I'm going to my pitney, use no tablet. You're not really fixing the issue. No. It's, it's here and it's not going anywhere. So it's best that you teach them how to maneuver and understand what exactly, you know, getting involved in social media is than prevent them from it because as we know and this is something we've all seen firsthand preventing a child from something don't don't stop them all right they'll find a way secrets to do it or when they get older and they have their own way and can make their own decisions them going to the holy of madness i hear the thing i know kim because you have a set of parents because they haven't really ventured into using these devices or they haven't ventured into checking out these apps yeah them say oh me know why you upon this me know why you upon that Right, but mm -hmm. they themselves don't even take a little time for research while I go on exactly. and find out if this is a good app or, or not. Or not, what are the benefits and how do you use it properly? Because exactly. ignorance, them say, is bliss, but ignorance no good when you are trying to grow a child. <laughs> you and have to be, you have to be informed. And so, that is why they say keeping up to speed with the definitely. latest technologies is crucial. We never say it's recommended mm -hmm. or we think you probably can't use it. It's crucial. Crucial yeah, man, good to, to know be a successful parent yeah. in this day and age. We're not talking about yesteryear mm -hmm. or two decades ago. We're talking about nowadays. If you're a parent, you need to keep up to date with the whole technological trend, right? I know it can be intimidating. Mm -hmm. It can't because even me sometimes I just don't want to venture into nothing new. It does seem like it's it's too tough, you know. And you know one of the things Kim that usually probably catch most of the I guess probably the older parents I would say in this time. You remember like when you grew up, you know, parents would tell us, mm, you think my born big. Yeah. Because they would have said that because they've been through most of the experiences yeah. that you've been through. But when it comes to some of these devices, they never have it when they grow up. So they don't know nothing about it. Like, exactly. You have to teach them now. So these are the advantages that they would have had to say, boy, I mm -mm, know this, I know about that, I know about yeah. this. You might not know these things. So as Kimmy said, you have to keep up you to the time. To. And that's why I say it's intimidating because since they had no familiarity exactly. with it growing You're up, learning so for them, them, they're like, oh, I'm not going to try. They'll prefer to hire somebody who can do it than to learn themselves. But parents, it's essential that you understand. And here's the trick. You can use it as an opportunity for you and the child A to learn together. Right? There you go. Exactly. Oh, so, you do this. What we can do to this? I will learn together. Make we set up a code. Make we see what I go on there. So yeah, learn together. Well, I love that you mentioned that because that's gonna actually come later on ah, in the content, there we right? Go. <laughs> so, yeah, so I like how you yeah, think outside of the box, yeah. and this is what we encourage every week, guys. Wi-Fi While people. you're listening, like go and think outside the box. Like, hmm, you know what could be the benefits of this? So it's not about shunning it, cause it's here. Yeah. That's the like I am one of those persons. I remember when I first heard about AI, I I was one of those people. I'm like, oh no. I got this sand, it's gonna remove the whole human interaction or whatever. But no, I've come to accept, and that's something I can stop. And it's the worst, happen. the worst thing about it from the invention of computer AI actually existed, it's just that they didn't set the, the um open up the limitations, yes. Because really and truly, if you put from the type in from the computer, it's a three plus three. It starts suggest stuff. It has to start add and think what yeah. is the next step. So it's there, but it's yeah, just before you type in the three plus three, you put it's three and it starts put yeah, the plus another sign. suggestion. So it, it, AI is always there, but it's just that now everybody is basically removing yeah. the limitation and expanding the capabilities. So and you have to understand it. Mm -hmm. So that was just an example because yeah. I, I was one of those people like, no, no man. we need to stay far That's from it. But stay, man. we start realizing you can't go around it. So guess what? Might as well learn yeah, it. You used to have people that burn out DVD, burn out the internet. And look and at I, it now. I don't buy no cell phone. I don't I don't buy no cell phone. I know everybody have one. If you didn't come trap me. <laughs> right? So knowing how technology has impacted parenting is extremely important. Although technology may provide huge advantages to our society, there are also massive negative impacts that can greatly affect your child. Many studies have shown the negative impact of digital technologies on children. It is said that the overuse of computers from an early age mm -hmm. can affect many areas of a child's life, 
including academic success. Other studies suggest that the use of digital devices can cause poor concentration. Mm -hmm. I see that happening. This, this organization underdeveloped language skills and a severe lack of creativity. So, can we not make for creative? You know, everything right. that they, I would say. Just, sorry, go. You can just use the same AI, and as or you can go to certain applications to them where you look for, and all of the, the the templates are there, and you just have to choose a template, type in your words. So it's sort of stunting creativity to an extent. Mm. All right. Well, I would say I would. Cause you said there, you said the use, right? Yeah. I would say use I, from an early age. Right. I would say the misuse. Okay. Because mm -hmm. really and truly, it depends on how you use these things. Well, actually, to be fair, it mm. says that the overuse. Exactly, right. Those and, are the exact And words. that's a misuse. So, therefore, yeah. yeah. So, if you excessively rely on it, yeah, it's going to cut back on certain things. But if you use it effectively, it is a different thing. But, yeah. Exactly. So, in the United States alone, and this is because I could have only found facts in the United yeah, States. Yeah, they're about to study them. Because they're doing, you know, them always doing studies. Mm -hmm. 66% of parents who have at least one child under the age of 18 but may also have adult children says that parenting is more difficult today compared to parenting 20 years ago mm. the reason why why such a high number of parents feel this way is due to the rise of technology definitely so with all this said because we've said a whole lot so far fantastic fridays has created a list of tips to assist with parenting in the digital age so number one and this is something that we we mentioned so far improve your digital literacy right educate yourself stay informed about the latest technologies social media platforms and online trends this knowledge will help you guide your children effectively and also teach digital literacy educate your children about responsible online behavior including the importance of privacy security and critical thinking so that's what we we're saying earlier right don't don't shun it don't stay far from it actually learn it because the more you know about it you know how to maneuver you know how to guide your kids on it you won't have to depend on them every time to learn how to do something or for them to do something for you because that is when they can use to their advantage and do things that they shouldn't be doing because you don't know no better so literally there could be a page that's literally in front of you because you don't understand it a page that shouldn't be on that's literally in front of you but guess what you don't know no better so it just goes unnoticed right so the very first tip ladies and gentlemen parents adults caregivers you know once you have a child that you have to care for in some way in your life whether it's a neighbor picnic one friend picnic you know you have like a best friend and them have a daughter so any one of them on a need to improve on a digital literacy number two treat media as you would any other environment in your child's life so the same parenting guidelines apply in both real and virtual environments so you need to set limits kids need and expect them let's repeat that set your limits because kids need and expect them know your children's friends both online and offline you can't have you pick now a friend online and you don't know who them be <laughs> You know, the local research, every day you hear them talk about John online and you don't know who John is, you don't know what John picture look like, but every day them and John, you know, in a, in a game, online game, I play and you say, yo, John is so cool, like, you know the game and them are teach me some things and you know, so say we can hang out and you don't know about none of that. Exactly. Mm -mm. So you have to know your children's friends, both online and offline. Know what platforms, software and applications your children are using what sites they're visiting on the web, and overall, just what they're doing online, you know? You have to know these things. So I know nowadays I keep hearing about children's privacy, and I do believe that, yes, a level of privacy is required, but I don't necessarily think privacy in this regard, in terms of the digital space, is really needed because... It's a dangerous space. It's just like how if you're not going to make a picnic or a certain area alone. Literally, is the same thing, right? We're talking about physical. You're not going to make your picnic go 
downtown alone maybe or stuff like that so just like how you're not going to leave them alone to go somewhere physically why are you making them go online and you don't know what go on true, true. with them at the same thing you know so as it said earlier just like how you monitor your, your kids in other environment it's an environment that you need to monitor your kid as well right so i hope you guys changing your perspective and considering how how exactly you can incorporate this into your parenting skill number three Practice screen time management. And as I said, guys, remember to share your feedback. We have our WhatsApp line, 876-792-3530. And you can also share on our Instagram live. All right, so practice screen time management. Media use, like all other activities, should have reasonable limits. Set limits, establish clear guidelines on screen time for different activities, such as homework, leisure, and socializing. Lead by example. I mean, no funny don't want it apart here, but it's just as essential. Lead by example. Demonstrate healthy screen time habits and be a good role model. Teach and model kindness and good manners online because children are great mimics. They follow everything, right? So limit your own media use first and foremost. In fact, You'll even be more available for and connected with your children if you're interacting, hugging, and playing with them rather than simply staring at a screen. So you see that's, that's saying that the whole do as I say but not as I do. So I'm going to tell you, oh, you can't do more than 60 minutes of screen time every day. But then every time you you come find me, mommy, I'm going to my phone. What are you talking about? Mm. Yeah, man, you right, can't right, fight, right. but... You call for the phone now. I know you're hurting that, but me that that's uh, that don't make no sense, right? Because as a child, I'm gonna feel like you're being unfair, and yes, you're the adult, but we need to change how we how we view our rights as adults and parents. Because as we said, children live what they learn. So I feel like you are just like how we vex when certain government bodies are so abuse certain things yep because them said why are them a government so mm -hmm. you know yeah it's the same way the child feels and then there's a level of resentment or a level of unfairness or that just make them not want to open up to you because boy mommy no fear them very you know she wanted this or daddy wanted this and i'm not allowed to don't make no sense so live what you what we're teaching basically and for number four, oh, hold on. Before I get to number four, unstructured and offline play stimulates creativity, right? So this is for, for kids, especially younger kids. You need to get them outside. I remember seeing a meme once and they were saying back in the day, parents are fair big people in them for coming out of the house. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, they're begging you to go outside. Yeah, because them stuff on the devices. Because <laughs> everybody's just inside on devices. Like, what is outside is dirty. Like, why you want me to go outside in the dirt? Right? But then back then, people used to love the dirt. The, pit, the mother used to be upset when I wash your clothes because your clothes full of mud and stain. And uh, nowadays, the clothes then go in clean. Like, <laughs> actually, I think that the, 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 the trouble that most parents have now is that them staying at the house so long and them don't do nothing that them got days without bathing. <laughs> I think wow. that is the main thing. No, because guess what? When you go outside, yeah. you mess up yourself. Your parents are going to body up and say, listen, yeah, yeah, they yeah, can't yeah. come in and out the mud. Mm -hmm. Say, so off a bit. But no, yeah. because you're always on the, the, the laptop or the, the phone or whatever, the days go by. You play a video game for four days straight and you have to come and say, yeah, be. Yeah. You look like you have on the same shirt from four days ago. Yeah. Right? So those are the struggles that come up when everybody's stuck in them house on these devices right so that's why they're saying that unstructured and offline play stimulates creativity because you know back then we used to make up our own story we always had a play and if you, if you i to be fair mm -hmm. i have not experienced a child in a very long time that just show me something that don't make no sense everybody too educated True. Nowadays, I'm, you know, back then, they, they say, Auntie, look here. And I do some foolishness. But no. they make sense. No, they make sense. <laughs> and they're excited. What is it? Then just jump and go, so, Auntie, look here. And, and for them, that was excited, you know. Mm -hmm. And I know it is. These, these kids are just so proper. Um, That's below me. You know, it, it's, it's uh, peasants. You know, I can't put up with that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -mm, these kids not kidding anymore (laughs) so make unplugged playtime a daily priority especially for very young children so get them to play outside take them to a park take them go hope zoo take them out for a drive something you know get them off the screens i promise you it will benefit not only you but especially your child, right? It will stimulate them creativity. It will build a bond between you guys. And they're not bonding with an application or somebody online instead. Because naturally, as humans, we're looking for that bond, you know? Yep. We naturally look for that bond. So you have to be careful where that there. bond is found. So if you have the bond there, they're not looking nowhere else, right? So I'm going to suggest build that bond with your child. So we're coming up to the 7.30 break. When we come back, we're going to read a flow credit. So flow phone users, drop on a phone. And then we're going to get into the rest of the topic uh, for talking with Kim.